welcome to all students today we are going to study about the blood platelets now the very important thing first of all you must know that i have not written the cell for the blood platelets the question is that why they are not called as the cells so the reason is because they are not the complete cells they are the cell fragments which are produced from special cells found in the bone marrow which are called as the megakaryocytes so that's why we use the term platelets they are not treated as the complete cells why because they are the cell fragments produced from the megakaryocyte cells which are specially found in the bone marrow okay and the name platelet was given by a scientist known as biza zero biza zero was the scientist who gave the term platelet and the size of the blood platelets is 2 to 4 micron and they are smaller than the rbc okay now what is the count of the platelet in our blood so the blood normally contains 1.5 lakh to 3.5 lakh platelets per cubic mm of blood means 1.5 to 3.5 lakh per cubic mm of blood is the platelet count in blood this is the normal platelet count in the blood okay and if we want to know what is our uh, blood platelet count then we can go for the simple blood test which are also called as the cbc that is the complete blood count will also give the count of the blood platelet found in your blood but remember one thing that it is not necessary that always the blood count will having this number of the platelets okay remember low blood platelet count low blood platelet count is called as the thrombocytopenia remember this is the normal platelet count of blood okay now if there is low platelet count it is called as the cytopenia okay thrombocytopenia and if the platelet count is high if the platelet count is high it is called as thrombocythemia right or thrombocytosis there is a difference again i am repeating low platelet count is called as thrombocytopenia and high platelet count high platelet count is called thrombocythemia or thrombocytosis okay we will be discussing just now about the high and the low one okay now they are non nucleated they are non nucleated means they are not having the nucleus okay and they are colorless and they are colorless but remember one thing that when they are stained if we want to view the platelets and if they are stained then the platelets are seen in the form of dark purple dots or we can say it as dark purple to blue dots but when stained otherwise they are colorless if we see the shape of them they are round or oval biconcave biconvex disc like okay they are round or oval biconvex disc like okay and their life span is 7 to 12 days okay it is in between 7 to 12 days it is seen that on an average the life span of the blood platelets is approximately if we take out the average it is roughly 8 days okay now these are platelets the blood platelets are the source of the thromboplastin they are the source of the thromboplastin and they are very very necessary for the blood clotting as we know very well that blood clotting or uh, is uh, a process which is used to prevent the blood flow or we can say it as whenever the person is injured then the bleeding is stopped or the blood clotting occur just in just because of the blood platelets because the blood platelets are the source of the thromboplastin and thromboplastin is very necessary for the blood clotting okay and what is the when this thromboplastin is released so a note is written here that the damaged platelets whenever the person gets injured so the damaged platelets will release a substance known as the thromboplastin which is 
necessary for the blood clotting okay now platelet count low platelet count just now i have said is called as thrombocytopenia now the question arises what is considered as a low platelet count okay so see this is the normal blood platelet count 1.5 lakh to 3.5 lakh of the platelets are found per cubic mm of blood now if the platelet count uh, is nearly 50000 if you go for a blood test that is the cbc and in in that test if it is seen that the platelet count is below 50000 then it is considered as the low platelet count okay now sometimes the platelet count goes very below okay sometimes the platelet count is so much low that it goes around 20000 so this platelet count in between the 10000 to 20000 is very dangerous to the body right and in this condition the body will bleed the body will bleed even if we are not injured okay so it is very serious condition and it can cause uh, the death of the patient within few days okay now what is high platelet count now we know very well high platelet count is called as thrombocythemia or thrombocytosis now again see the normal platelet count is 1.5 to 3.5 lakh per cubic mm of blood but if the platelet count is um, uh, around 1 million okay it is around 1 million it is around 10 lakh okay then it comes under the category of the high platelet count okay now remember one thing that cancer treatment can slow down the production of the platelet it has been seen that when cancer treatments are given say for chemotherapy radiotherapies are given in that case also it has been seen that the body shows slow production of the platelet okay so this must be remembered now one thing remember that in many books it is written right or in normal language also we always say that blood platelets are also called as thrombocytes blood platelets are also called as the thrombocytes in general we say in uh, maximum books also it is written but it's not actually true the thrombocyte word is not used for the mammals in mammals we use the term blood platelets okay why in for the other vertebrates why for the other vertebrates we use the term instead of blood platelets we use the term thrombocyte so thrombocyte is a spindle shaped cell remember thrombocyte is a spindle shaped cell which is nucleated which is nucleated i have said that blood platelets are non nucleated blood platelets are non nucleated right but thrombocytes are special spindle shaped cells which are nucleated and remember that their nucleus is oval or spherical and these thrombocytes are found in non mammalian vertebrates okay see here we are not talking about the mammals they are found in non mammalian vertebrates say for if i talk about a frog right so it's non mammalian vertebrate it is a vertebrate but not a mammal so in them uh, in the frogs also we will be using the term thrombocyte we will be using the term thrombocyte we will be not using the term platelets okay so altogether these platelets are very very important for the body as they can prevent the blood clotting at the they can prevent the uh, bleeding right or they can give the power of blood clotting to us and can save the body when the body is injured okay so platelets are very important and uh, important for the examination point of view so thanks a lot if you want to take this screenshot you can take so that you can maintain the notes